you work in data, there's really no escaping the term modern data stack. And in fact, any mention of the term traditional stack is going to get instantly dismissed or considered outdated. But what's the big deal with this modern stack? And why is it important for engineers and data teams to understand? And while there's a lot of different views on this, today I want to break down three key differences between what's considered a traditional and modern stack so that you can better understand at a high level what the difference is and form your own opinion on it. So number one, a traditional stack is typically seen as a little more closed off or coupled together, whereas a modern stack is more modular or individualized in the components. So for example, in a traditional stack, you'll probably be working with a lot of drag and drop interfaces, especially for the data transformation. But this tool could also include the extract and load kind of all coupled together in one tool. Whereas in a modern stack, you're likely going to see individual separate tools for each component. And while this definitely adds more complexity to the overall architecture, the individual tool is now in theory better at that individual task and they're designed to work together. So yes, there's a trade off there, but the upside again is better capabilities. And another point here has to do with workflow, especially when we're talking about the traditional tools. So if you think about again, let's say data transformation, you know, a lot of these tools have drag and drop kind of graphical interfaces, and they're definitely helpful for people who don't want to work in code as much. But the downside is a lot of the business logic gets hidden behind these graphical blocks and it makes it really hard to version control and understand what the changes were. And when you see in the modern stack, a Git workflow, everything's in code, you're automating, you're automating testing, you're doing all sorts of stuff. It's not impossible, but very difficult to do in the tools that you might see in a traditional stack. Now, number two is for a traditional stack, you're very likely gonna see a lot more on-premise. Modern stacks, it's more in the cloud. It's a little bit more dynamic. Really in the mid 2010s, I'd say, the rise of cloud computing, the cost of storage, and just the capabilities of everything made it much more practical for companies to move to the cloud, and it was less intimidating. So that has been a trend really for the past decade. And this concept applies not only to the infrastructure and storage, but to a lot of the tools as well. Many of these are now built as software as a service tools, which means you can literally get spun up and start using these in you know a day in a few minutes. Or if you want a little more control and you kind of want to feel like kind of the same way you might have felt with the on premise version, you can instead go the route of self hosting an open source tool on your own cloud platform and have more control over that as opposed to completely going a software as a service. And just to compare here, the alternative here with what's called a traditional stack would be everything would be hosted on premise, you have your own infrastructure that you own, maybe it's in a data center or your own office, and you are responsible for managing all of that. And while this does give you more ownership of everything and may have some benefits in terms of security and just privacy concerns, it does come at a cost. And I think that biggest cost here is going to be your time. So the time that it takes to handle all the upgrades to manage the hardware, whereas if you go more of the cloud route, a lot of the maintenance and updates are built in and handled behind the scenes for you. So you don't have to worry about it. And you can focus instead more on the design design portion of what you want to do. Now, the third one here is a little different, and it's that traditional tools, at least in my experience, tended to intimidate or scare business users, whereas modern tools tend to excite non-technical users. Data literacy nowadays is not something just for technical or IT people. Most people at work today understand the general concepts of data. It's become such a bigger part of our day-to-day -day lives and more mainstream so that not only are people more versed in data, but they expect to be included in a lot of discussions around data decisions. In the past, this was really unheard of. I mean, you would never expect some someone from the business to want to poke around in Informatica or SSIS or even SQL Server. But nowadays, these tools, these SaaS tools, they're designed for non-technical people to feel comfortable interacting with. They can go on, they can look at things, and all of the technical stuff is really abstracted underneath and designed in a way that only us as technical developers would really be concerned with. Otherwise, anyone can really go in, view what's going on, push a couple buttons, and it's much more accessible for non-technical people to use. And I think that's a huge difference and a really important one between the traditional and modern approach to data architecture. I've actually experienced this where I've had CEOs of small companies going hands on into these tools and poking around. That's just something that would have been unheard of in the past and I think is a nice, helpful evolution of the data platforms. But at the end of the day, really, these are just buzzwords and ways to describe different approaches. And what we're calling the traditional stack definitely had its time and it made sense and it was really helpful for bringing people into data warehousing. Nowadays, we have a more modular, open approach that's more inviting for business users, not just technical users to use. And I just think it's a really exciting time to be working in data. So hopefully now you have a better understanding on some of the differences between a traditional and modern data stack. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you next week.